Hello everyone, Jury Duty Dragon here, and today we got a Fiverr McDiver. Call me a high fiver. That's right, I almost said MacGyver. Did not see some kids over there. You kids gonna get murdered? Damn right, you are the Saint Dust. So everyone, let's get started. First off is the HK417 by 45 Long Colt. Custom mesh, custom texture, very nice. This is a very clean model. Uh, texture is very clean. Fresh off the press. There are two mods for this, a suppressor and a scope. Very nice, very cool. And there's also a unique version of this called the Nevada Strike, which has a camouflage texture instead. So you can go through the Mojave and, uh, you know, kill people still. And that one comes with the, uh, the suppressor and scope already on it, so you don't need to put the mods onto that one. Second up is the AR-01 Raygun by Travis. Custom mesh and texture. Travis has been plowing out weapon mods like crazy, and this one is just another fantastic one. As you can see here, it's just a ray gun. It uses the energy cells as its ammunition, and yeah, pretty cool. You can also charge it up for uh, a bigger effect. You can see here I'm just shooting on the ground, and then if you hold it, it does charge up. So really cool, very shiny. Fantastic addition to the Travis collection. Next up is Ravon by about 68 cows, Harvey Chessbreach, and Jerokey Master. Now this is um, Harvey, with the help of about 68 and Jerokey, um, made this weapon. It's nothing new, except when you shoot people, something happens. So I have not shot it at anyone. It's a mysterious gun, and it's it's been made for me. So we're going to test this out. I don't know what it's going to do, but uh, I'm pretty excited. Also, the Dynamo Rifle from last week by Eddie K28. Uh, there was a sound file that was misplaced, and he fixed it. So as you can listen here. So now when you reload, you get that winding up effect, which is really nice. Extra beautiful work, Eddie. I love it. Mm. Kisses, Eddie. Yeah, you got those kisses. Next up for our armor is the Militaire's Sands Frontiers armor from Ground Zeroes, the Metal Gear Solid. And this is by Kazu Maru. Mm-hmm. How do you do? Uh, this is from the Gun Network. This is a public armor mod. You just have to sign up to the Gun Network, and they can download this babe. And there are three types of the uh, armor in this. There's one without any head thing which uh, you can see AJ's wearing there. There's one where it has uh, the mask on it, which Jerry's wearing there. And then there's one with the mask and the little comm set, which I'm wearing as well. So pretty sweet. Uh, there have been a few other Metal Gear um, armors and also like gameplay things. So I, I want to do like a little Metal Gear Solid um, just feature video where we review all the Metal Gear mods because there's one for a, a sneaky when when people s detect you the the exclamation part goes over their head exclamation point not part which is really cool but yeah this armor is fantastic i like it straight port from the game very nice very cool also just one other thing about the armor is that if you do wear the a armor which is the one with the headphones and the mask your left arm in first person does not show up but if you do switch to any of the other armors like b or c the uh your arm does appear, so that's just one small problem, but besides that, pretty sweet. And last but not least, we're doing a Bizarre Adventure by Duxos. Ooh, Duxos. Ooh, Duxos. Yeah. So, uh, Duxos has done a few other mods that we've reviewed. Uh, the last one that I can recall is the uh, Nuka Cola Fizzy, Fizzy one. And uh, yeah, so we're here uh, right near Good Springs Cemetery, a little bit north of it. Yep, northeast Blake's Energy Weaponorium. And we're gonna head on indoors. Come on inside. Come on, catch a ride. How's everyone doing? I brought my kids. Doc, how are you doing? Gonna light some fires. Ugh, hi there. What do you want? Actually, I could use some help. Yeah, you look like you could solve my problem. What do you need help with? Who are you anyways? I'm Blake. I'm a genius, pal. Real smart guy. Smartest guy. Smartest guy in the whole wasteland. Smartest guy all around. Okay, what, what do you need help with? It's a long story, pal, but I'm going to tell you it to you anyways. Y y you got to know what you're getting yourself into, after all. Sometime way back when me and some buddies refurbished an old Robco plant, got that baby up and running, selling stuff, making money. Then what? But my genius got too much attention selling that stuff. Some troglodytes and power armor came along and blew our place up. Of course, I survived. I activated a sentry bot that was nearby and blasted him long enough for me to escape. My friends all died. But you win some, you lose some. 
The only place I could go after that was Vault City. Of course, the NCR annexed it by then, so it had some new name. I don't, I don't remember. Listen. <sighs> but you know the NCR was making rules, pal. It was making rules. And you don't follow those dumb people, pal. Don't follow them. So I headed east. Got further away from these armed knuckle-draggers and set up shop here. Anyways, that was in the past, pal. 20 years ago or so. <laughs> can't keep trap. Don't camp. Can't track no more. W wait, wait. You still don't know who they were? My guess is it was those armed Eggmanatic Brotherhood of Steel folks, worse than the NCR. Think they own technology. Think they're. Think they're. <laughs> I was worried a bit when they moved in the solar power plant down there, but no one's noticed since the NCR kicked them out. Good riddance. Okay, thanks for the experience. Is that all the information you have? It's all the information there. Hey, it's buddy. You must know about the Brotherhood of Steel. My guess was always them. Power armor and a big hard on for making life miserable for people smarter than them, buddy. Real piece of work. Tell you what, bud. I hired a private. Investigator to sort this all out, but I forgot about forgot all about it. Lots of stuff in my mind. Her name's Holly. Lives down by that crashed airplane in the desert past the NCR station near Prim. Should be easy to find. I'm gonna re be real honest with you, pal. It's so easy to find. If you can't find it, then you should probably just give up. Just give up on living. Wow, another thing to come clean on right now, buddy. I don't have any money to pay for her services either, so you have to do this on your own. Damn, Blake. Those guys who stole from me and killed my slaves. Uh friends they probably got a lot of loot man like a ton of loot so much loot you crack this case open crack it wide open all that loot's yours it's gonna be a real good time super fun great uh great adventure time great great time yeah all right bye okay somebody oh my god is your name somebody's based off of rick marty ow Ooh. Ah. i do watch rick and marty now everyone I know in the Reddit AMA I said I didn't, but that's because the pilot episode I didn't really like. But the other episodes, I liked them. Hey! Hi! Uh, what do you do here? I'm Blake's assistant. I, I deliver orders, scavenge parts, and dangerous stuff. But he says I can take over the business if anything happens to him, or he gets bored or leaves. What do you have to sell? Yeah, yeah, here, here, take a look. You have a... Do you have, like, a sex doll? My wife's not here. No? Okay. Yeah, you probably used it anyhow, kid. Thanks. Weirdo. Alright. Man, get a hold of your... You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Sorry. <sighs> My fault. Hey. Ugh, I'm a little eccentric, too. Oh, Morty, crap your pants. Hi. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry. Don't look him in the eye. You'll... Well, alright. Sizzler, don't look him in the eye. You're like soulmates. Alright. Oof, that's smash air. That's smash air. Smash air. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait, where's my... Let's try this baby out. Ooh, look at my knuckle. Look at my breastplate. I could lick it. I could lick my breastplate while I'm walking. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like espionage. All right, what do we? So this quest is supposed to be a little bit not so straightforward. So uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Find Holly. She's somewhere in the dried-up lake down the road from the Javi outpost. Look for a crash plane, dick face. All right. So okay, cool. I do want to shoot one of these guys before my friends all kill him though. Everyone, stop running after me. I don't know if I have to have music on. Oh God. Yep. I have to have music on. <laughs> Leave like one for me. Oh no. One more try. Nope. <laughs> oh no, Harvey. No. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hmm. Rave on. Maybe that's... Maybe... Alright. Maybe you have to sh shoot human players. Just a bunch of dirty bloat flies. Hey, slut. Stop waving that butt. I'm not good at this. Damn it! Who did that? Who the f... Alright. Dried up lake. If I were a crash plane, where would I be? If I were a crash plane, can't you see? If I were a crash plane, I wanna be a magical crash plane. 
do 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 magical crash plane do 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 I'm a plane and do 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 magical crash plane where are you Mr. Plane oh I don't know where this plane could be cuz I don't know if you know me but I'm not very good at following orders that's because I got social disorders boo I missed you boom that time I didn't and then I shot your face off with the sounds gun. Everyone run from me. You goofy dog. It sounds like a little dog. Oh, fuck you guys. Oh, wait, 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 don't kill him. Let me go through my 18 weapons. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Ah. Oh, that's an ant. Wait, stop moving! Nope. Nope, nope. I mean, it deletes them. It definitely deletes them. A fair kill. <laughs> the Kaisar has marked you. Yeah, I was gonna kill you. Dummy. Oh, is that it? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot more than a crashed plane. That's a building. Are those things mean? Is that person running? More of these answers solved in next week's Al Chess Breach review. The answer is yes to all of them. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. Welcome to the jungle. It looks a lot like a desert. Welcome to the jungle. How the heck do I get in there? I got a good feeling about this mod, everyone. I'm just saying it right now. Oof. Got a good feeling. This is... This is some craftsmanship we haven't seen in a while. Very nice, everyone. Not, you know, I mean... All right, we've probably seen craftsmanship like last week. Touch the door. Welcome to the donut shop. Holly's compound. Let's go talk to everyone else. You got kids locked in here or something? What you got locked in here? Hey. Oh, uh, you're in my house. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Holly, Holly Oxenfree. Are you Holly? Blake said I could find you here. Are you with the New California Republic? What's with turrets? Are you Holly Blake said, uh, Union Bomber Machine? Hmm. Yeah, California. What? Hell no. Then what's with the Ranger armor? L it looks badass. Anyways, I scratched off most of the NCR labels so their troops don't even think I'm one of them when I wear it. So that way they shoot me. What's with the turrets? Ha <laughs> ha. Like those, they were great at creaking crab scorpions and raiders, but they kept on shooting poor else in here. I had to have Blake add an exception for geckos to the control terminal. Are you Holly? Blake said I could find you here. Yep, that's me. What do you want so bad to have traveled all the way out here? Blake said you could tell me about the people who ruined his business. Well, he's right. I could tell you something, but it wasn't easy to find. If y'all want to get your hands on it, it's not going to be free. All right. What do you want? Well, I'd put the price on this venture at about 1,500 caps, but you don't look like you could afford it. Well, we could work something out. Tell you what, Nelson here is getting kind of pudgy, and I haven't nearly the amount of unwelcome visitors lately for him to eat play with. If you can take him out back and knock him around a bit, we'll call it even. But no weapons allowed. If you hurt him, I'll fucking bury you. Um. You want me to fight your gecko? Convince Holly to give you the info. Hmm. Well, I know for a fact. Alright, let me fight your gecko. But. Wow, you're pretty dumb. I mean, uh, oh, okay. I'll set it up and then you can be on your way with your information. Are you ready to fight now? Yeah, uh, give me a second. Oh, okay. Don't, don't be a wimp. Whoa, what? Calm down, lady. Jesus. You don't even have a gecko in here. You're a liar. There's nothing in there. Alright, everyone, just shut the fuck up. God. I love you all. Just shut up. You know what? Damn it. Hopper. Hopper, you gave me. Oh, really? Really, Sizzler? That's that's how it's gonna be, Sizzler? Yeah? Yeah, Sizzler? 
Every everyone else plays nice, Sizzler, okay? Literally everyone. You want me to push you? I'll push you down. Push you down right now. This ain't dust. I ain't got no child protection services here. This ain't the Sims. I'll push you on the ground. Maybe not, though. All right. Who... You gotta stay here, AJ. Son of a bitch. You kids, you kids are goofing me around. I don't like this. All right, I'm taking your kit and taking your weapons. Here, we can all punch the gecko in unison. It'll be great. Okay. Really, Sizzler? You're not carrying a baton? A giant thing? A bad? I don't know. I don't know words. Okay, where's, uh... Yo, chill out, lady. You just realize you have, like, pink hair? Look, it's not... It's not... I, I like it, actually. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Seriously, I'm done. Stop. Stop prancing. I'm going in your house. I'm, I'm eating your prickly pears. <gasps> oh, my God. I went to New Mexico. Um, because I, I told you all that. Oh, my God. Prickly pears are freaking delicious. Okay, what are you afraid of? There's nothing out there, lady. Is there, like, two baby? There's, like, two... That's what you're afraid of. Damn it. All right, you know what we're doing. <laughs> Lost little babies. Now they're dead. There, now you can stop pooing your pants. Gwa, cha, cha, ching. All right, time to punch your gecko in the face. I'm ready to kill your pet. There's a trash can out back if you're looking for a place to stay. Yeah, uh... I used to be a hobo, not anymore. What do I have to do? What's it gonna be? Uh, I'll fight your dumb gecko. Wow, you're pretty dumb. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll give Nelson the old one, two, boom. Yeah, I won't have to buy him food for a while. I mean, that's the spirit. We're gonna kill your pet. Come on, kids. It's family day. Family day at the punching range. Come on. Get in here, AJ. AJ, get in here. Punch this cute animal. Mm. Mm. I got him. Kick him. Kick him. Kick his balls. Kick his dick. Sizzler. Sizzler, you're useless. Oh, God. He's using frame rate drop. Oh, Jesus. It's super effective. Ugh. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. He's okay. Or something. I don't know. He's not okay. Hey, can you tell your gecko to stop using frame rate drop? Kids. Kids. All right, kids. Jesus. God, your bloodlust is insatiable. Stop. No. Everyone, good lord, the PowerPoint presentation known as Fallout New Vegas is now beginning. Stop. Stop. This is helping no one. Shut. Everyone shut up. I told you I had, I had a good feeling about this, everyone. Everyone leave Nelson alone. Monsters. Put the gun away, Jerry. Jesus Christ. I'm locking the door. People are horrible. Where's Holly? Before my companions murder poor old Nelson. I just crushed his pride. Oof. Oh, God. Frame rate. Hey, Holly. There's a trash can. I Listen. I pooped in it already. I beat up your lizard. What information do you have for me? Wow. Seriously? You beat up Nelson? And you brought kids? You can have these tapes. One's my investigative notes. The other is, well, it's it's like a porno. Oh, and here's your weapons back. You probably don't need to read the investigation notes. You could just skip to the bottom, but I think the poem will help you find the script. Okay, thanks, I guess. Bye. 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 Oh, bye. 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 All right, kids. Is everyone ready for ice cream? Because that's not what we're getting. First, we're going in this lady's house and stealing everything. Touch the door with my potato gloves. Ooh, Nelson! Nelson, you picked the wrong day to come in here, Nelson! We're gonna kick your ass, Nelson! Just kidding, Nelson. We're all friends here, right? Right, Nelson? No? Okay. See, it was necessary, because I have music on now. Boom! Touch that doll. I'm gonna touch that doll. 
I'm gonna touch that doll. I'm gonna touch that doll. I'm gonna poop inside your bathroom. Hey, she doesn't have a bathroom, does she? See, I told you she poops in the she poops in the dumpster. I told you, Sizzler. I'll push you. Mm. You want you you feel bad? I didn't push you too. Equal opportunity. Boom! I'll push anyone. I'll close the door on your face. All right, it didn't close because I didn't do it. There. There you go. All right, what are we doing? We're reading. Eyeglasses. Ooh, turret control. I could kill her. All right, let's read her notes, her magic notes. Play the guitar, Johnny. I haven't heard that song in forever because I always have the radio off. Investigation to Blake's attack. I ran into Prim yesterday for supplies. Who should I run into but Blake? That old geezer from Good Springs who I bought the laser turrets off of last year. Turns out he had a job for me. He mentioned that he had been part of a group back in the day that had resorted in an old Robco facility and started pumping out robots and other tech. I don't know how portable... <coughs> oh, Morty, is it is that someone could ever fix up a place as complex as a Robco plant. But I guess that turrets he's sold me should speak for his expertise with technology. Anyways, the story goes that he and his group, they called the business... Revive Tech did pretty good, making caps and getting goods like one business. <coughs> Apparently they did too well, because according to Blake, one day some punks and power armor showed up and surprised him in his office, started shooting up the place and screaming happy birthday. Luckily, Blake had a sentry bot in his office, which provided enough distraction for him to get out a back entrance. He says he was the only one who got out alive, or at least he hasn't seen any of his business partners since. Blake blames the Bredder Brood of Steel because, but probably only because they're the only organization he's heard of that use power armor. Plus, Revivotech had had confrontations with them before regarding their distribution of technology to the Wasteland peasants. Investigation day one. First things first, I had to have Blake sit down and spell all the details. There were four main leaders of Revivotech. Blake Bradley, our hero. Oh, Blake Bradley, our hero. Why do I keep saying, why am I putting R's everywhere? Louis Yates, Clara Cross, Jesus! And Becky Leotardo. Becky Leotardo? Blake says his group was operational from about 2248 to 2257 when the attack occurred. The plant was somewhere further west of the Mojave. Oh, boy. Somewhere southeast of an NCR province called Vault City. They did a lot of business with the NCR through Vault City and occasionally even with Brotherhood Steel. From my knowledge, the Brotherhood was in pretty sorry shape after the Conclave attacked them and um, jab, 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 dealing with wasteliners, getting hands of technology. Sounds to me that the Brotherhood decided to attack Ravitech and acquire all the technology and attempt to boost themselves and spring a surprise birthday party. I don't want to rule out the NCR or even some randoms trying to get their hands on some wealth, but that power arm limits those possibilities. No one that I know uses it but the Enclave and the Brotherhood, and the Enclave is gone. I'll have to ask to get in touch with someone who knows about it. Happy birthday to me. Investigation Day 7. I got back from my meetup with the Brotherhood contact. She said that what the Brotherhood West Coast Brotherhood's leadership at the time knew of Revivatech, they didn't think it possessed enough technology to make any kind of attack worthwhile. Plus, they were close-knit with the NCR, and the last thing the Brotherhood needed was the NCR to drag them out of a secrecy or start a war. She mentioned that the NCR was in possession of salvage power armor that could be worn without training, which could mean the NCR was in fact responsible for the attack. Day 10, my contact with the Mojave Outpost said they'd ask around the embassy to see if anything was going on there. 23, my contact came back with a few tidbits. For one, the NCR breast was very fucking pissed at Revivotech, or at least one of the only working Robco facilities around cable of putting out new robots and energy weapons had been destroyed. She also mentioned that the NCR had only access to their salvaged power armor since Operation Sunburst in 2276, like very recently. So there's no way it was used to attack Revivotech in 2257. Kind of a dead end there. But I basically know for sure it wasn't the Brotherhood of Steel or the NCR. Uh, 27, my NCR contact came back to me with some rumors about an intelligence broker going by the name of The Script. The same shit came up when I was investigating Mr. House for Yes Man. This guy must be real fucking good if his name comes up whenever I reach a dead end. The only problem is that if I've barely heard of him, there's not much chance there's anything but rumor that exists to get in contact with him. 46, well, after asking around enough, I got a crazy rumor. Apparently, if you go to the abandoned suburbs northeast of Vegas and write progressions on a wall, you'll be contacted by The Script. What? Northeast of Vegas. Let me write this down. Suburbs. Day 55. One of the suburbs and did the thing. I waited around for a few hours and nothing happened. There's some bullshit and this place is creepy. I'm going home to poop. Got home today pretty pissed about this investigation. I've spent a long ass time on it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Who even cares about some shit that happened like 20 years ago? Hey, it's your job, Holly. Unfucking believable. I noticed a new log entry on my computer today. All it said was, where the winds blow cold and the people and people are blue and some poemy shit poemy shit is this a script how the fuck did he find my house we got past the locked door and encryption i'm pretty miffed about it wait on my league here if blake wants me to do this script guy he can do it himself but i better still get paid for this wow holly 
Where the winds blow cold and people are blue. I, I, oh god. On the way where the wind blows cold, the people are blue. Where two signs mark Nevada, the white mountain, white mountains come to view. Look left to the hill, I'll be waiting for you. Scooby-dooby-doo. 